Welcome to Bennett's. Today we're getting ready to put the floor in the 57. Matt's back here welding up a couple of spots that extend past where the actual rust was what he wanted to replace, but we can't just go and replace what he wants without fixing what's wrong. It's all been pre-drilled along the sides and along the firewall that we installed last earlier, well last week. We'll get that floor up in there and then start doing the plug welds and clean it up and give it back. This, this is the floor pan we showed you a couple times already. There was a little more rust in the inner rockers that he didn't really see or know about or whatever, so we, we, we bought some inner rocker panels um, which have to be welded into the floor before it goes in the car because if you look, it's on an angle. So trying to slide this in the car would, would not really be the best thing to do. So now with the... The, weld, the rocker panels are all welded in it. Now we'll get ready to fight it back into the bottom of the car. Just tack it in a couple spots, screw it in a couple spots to uh, locate it, and then we'll put it together. These we put in last night with panel bond in here. Instead of drilling a thousand welds, we panel bonded it, but then welded it to the floor supports as well. So now it'll be welded to the pinch weld, and as well as it'll be welded along the rocker panels inside the car. So once Bobby, me, and Matt get this in the car, then Bobby and me get to watch Matt do all the work. New guy problems. Lowest man on the totem pole. Sparks in my eyes. <laughs> Fire in my... Fire in my pants. That happened this morning. Fire went right down my butt crack. <laughs> Show us what, what happened? No. <laughs> no. That's, a, that's a whole different show there, brother. Getting the big truck ready to go. We're taking a cross-country trip here Friday and Saturday to pick up some stuff for the Cornet and some other stuff. New motors, been in the truck, running great, so really not afraid to get in it and hammer down. So we'll get it cleaned up, washed, and windows cleaned, and everything so we can trash it in two days on the way back. That's about it for this. Just did, uh, well, second oil change after I had the motor done. So excessive, I know, but I'm that way. So whatever, it's just oil. Get it vacuumed out, cleaned up, dusted off, make sure everything's working, even the windows. But they only work intermittently. I know what it is, what the problem is. I'll fix it someday. I, I know how to get past it to make the windows go down. So instead of fixing it, I just wiggle a little wire and down go the windows. So. We're good. My problem is it shuts the radio off at the same time, and that I don't care for. That I don't care for at all. But yeah, I mean, I've, I've been all over the country in this truck. Most of you know, I mean, I've, I've been to New York before. I've been to Georgia, Alabama, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Connecticut. It, it's just been everywhere, and I've, I've really never had a fear of driving this truck anywhere. It's fine. Plus, it's cool. I like big trucks. Yeah. But that's it. It's pretty much other than getting it, detail it out, get it ready to go. It's ready to go. But let's take a look at what's going on with the Chevy. I guess we're about ready to put the floor in this car. Um, everything's been, like I said before, pre-drilled and ready to get everything welded in. We had inside the rocker panels treated them for rust, so... That, that wasn't part of the job, but we're there, and, you know, if it's like Matt said, if there's any rust here, it's leaving. So we've got a little patch to put in the wheel well. We'll show you that once we get the floor in place. I guess we're ready to put it in. Are you going to try this? Why not? Took and, five of us yesterday. I know, but... <laughs> <laughs> I've done these before on the ground. Get the car up as high as you can and, and work on your back and your eating sparks and welding slag falling on your face and just all kinds of, the rotisserie just makes all this stuff so much easier. All I can tell any of you, if, if you're doing this for a living or even for one car, because there's always a market for these if you don't want it, um, and that market would be here. Just call me, I'll buy it. When you turn the car up this way, we're, we're putting the floor in. It's all at eye level. We don't have to bend over. We don't have to crouch down, do nothing like that. It, it, uh, it just makes it a lot easier to do anything underneath the car. So, by rotisserie. I just 
waiting on you to get done. Those are buddy. vice grips. <laughs> Matt, Matt, Matt buys all his fancy tools and stuff and treats them real good and licks them off and polishes them when he's done at the end of the day. He takes my crap and throws it on the floor. But. <laughs> Okay. I'm not gonna wear gloves because I'm a man. I'll probably be the one that ends up with a lacerated finger, but whatever. I'd you know, rather have a cut than one of them little pieces yeah. of metal stuck yeah. in my finger. Strap, we need to see if this screw will go in. Alright, uh, I'm gonna let go of the bottom here. I got it. Probably need a rubber mallet or something. Huh? Rubber mallet. As Jim holds this all together. That's right, that's why I have this belly. It's not by mistake. In the back, yeah. You want me to let go of this strap? Yeah. Oh, hey now. Easy. You going? Going in? Yeah, keep going. Oh. The front here. Look at all the straps coming out. This kitchen right here. Think what you're doing there. Kick it, Dan. Kick it? Kick We're it. at. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> we hadn't reached that point yet. <laughs> What they're doing is we had this floor in yesterday and with tech screws and we're lining the holes up so the floor goes exactly where we had it in yesterday. And I did have uh, somebody mention to me that we should prep it before we put it in. And this is for you, Chris. That's wrong. Ask Mark. He'll tell you. That's an inside joke. So I could tell it outside, but it wouldn't be as funny. <laughs> What if we okay. rotate it around the other way? Maybe. Hit, oh, you know hit what? that. Take this crap off. Yeah, maybe. Tap, tap it this way a little bit. Tap, Just tap, hit tap. it here. <clears throat> the rubber melee. Thank you. 
tap it one time. Up. No. Whew. Should that be on the basic tools list of Malay? That's right. Oh. Never go wrong. Tenderize your meat or your panel. I've done that before. That'll slow you down for a couple hours. With one of them three, uh, three pound <laughs> dead blow oh, orange yeah. hammers. Yeah. Yeah. Hit myself dead square. Ah! My boss was standing there looking at me. He just looked at me like, so did you just hit yourself in the nuts? I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you want me to uh, start screwing this end to suck it in? I would, we gotta get this one. We gotta get this one in first. Right on that corner. Where? On this corner? Yeah. Yep, like it? Yep. Ooh, that one ain't gonna move. That one ain't liking moving. Dollar? Pull it together and let me see what it feels like inside. Yep. Think I'm in? Yep. That's good, right, Bobby? Yep. Yeah, it's good all the way. That's good. All right, cool. Yeah. Clamp it. Jed. <laughs> see what I did there? Clamp it. Jed. I like Jed clamp it. The Jed clamp it. <laughs> I don't really know who Jed is. I heard a clip on the radio a few times, but I'm, I'm trying to raise my butt. Ah! <laughs> Just remind us to have coffee ready for Dan every yeah, day. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that there is where we had to pry it, remember? Yeah. Right here, we had to pry down on it. I'm not getting poked in the forehead. With that pry bar. <laughs> Can I have a minute? I see it bent. Just give me a rubber mallet. Here you go. Cage wasn't in the way of could. Let me try something. How close is that gap inside? It's off a little bit, probably about a quarter inch maybe. But it's just that one point right there, that one screw hole. What's really cool about this is like if you were an actual shop like this, just over these guys' shoulders, you'd really make them mad. But it's a camera, so it's for the show, so they don't get mad. Or they don't show it. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There's mad and then there's TV mad. Hey, Matt. I didn't trim my nose hairs. <laughs> you got a mustache, you're good. You know that hat? That's Five horsepower to every car he gets in. Summit, we need some free parts. Advertisement. Yeah. That's right. A little mo. Same spot? Yeah. It's just bouncing. If you want to hit it again, I'll I'll clamp it after. 
And I'll do it a lot tighter than that did because I got man arms. Now it, it just keeps bouncing, Bobby. So this is hey. Bobby swing a hammer. Did he? I think so. Oh, there's gonna be a parental advisory on episode like 19. <laughs> Drill a hole. I'm thinking if you welded a couple of them and then and then hit that. I don't know because if you do that, it ain't gonna have nowhere to go. If you weld it on both sides, you trying to move the floor or the firewall? The firewall. Well, but if you see, would, no, I mean it. What I'm saying, if like if you weld it here and here and then hit it, this can't move once it's welded. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but this ain't gonna move either. Yeah. This is not gonna have anywhere to go. But if we drill a hole like on the edge right here, mm -hmm. stick something in at an angle and pry it. Yeah. Pry it. I think that'll be something like this. channel to go somewhere. It's not gonna make us rich, man. Yeah, come on. I'll buy you a new finger. <laughs> the doctors will fix it right up. We're trying to line up the firewall with the floor pan. And we got a little a spot that we tweaked yesterday. Oh, we We're trying to right work it out. We're trying to work it out without damaging anything. easy to hit it with a giant hammer. Mm -hmm. Anybody can do that. Yeah. I can do that. Doesn't necessarily make it right. No, it doesn't make it look pretty either. What about the slide hammer from the inside? Bye -bye. Maybe. So is this is this doable with one person? Can't Absolutely not. This is not a one person job. Nothing really? Yeah. Try it from out here. What do you think about that? Uh, down a little bit. Yeah, down. Yeah, right, right, there. right there. Wonder if maybe you could do it like a man. You want me to? This old lefty was pretty. Be careful. <laughs> 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 that's really weak in a cast for you. Oh, that's right. Good thing you were right handed. Good thing you were right handed. It is a strong strength right there. Look at that little weak one. Wow. That thing's a turd. You don't think so? Yeah. We'll never get it out. We'll... I would. I would. Yeah, I got some. Squeeze all that together. Yeah, probably do it as you go. Yeah, you know, it could, yeah. while it's hot from the previous bead. Mm -hmm. That's what they call semi. Chuck. You don't yeah, want to hit it. Semi weld it. Yeah.